Will you stand together with us in worship? to and tell them Merry Christmas. Amen. 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 Thank you all for being here. Our ushers are coming at this time to prepare to receive our Sunday morning tithes and offerings. And all of our church family uh, take this opportunity. And thank you so much. And it's so good to see you. And uh, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for the celebration of your coming because of who you are and why you came or why we are here. And every good thing in our life is, it comes because you came. 
And Father, right now in the name of the Lord Jesus, we ask you to bless this service, bless this offering, bless our time together. We pray that in Jesus' name, let the church say amen. Amen. You may be seated as you give. We call this candlelight and carols. Um, part of it's obvious. But there's candle. And someone asked me this week, why do you why do you do candlelight? The reason being is that this is not a presentation. This is not a musical. This is a, a moment where you, each of us individually, but also corporately, can take our focus off of everything and everybody else and just focus on the reason why we're here and his love for us. Aren't you glad you know who Jesus is? Amen. Amen. Did a little research in the word carol. We call them Christmas carols. Carols has nothing to do with the age of a song. In other words, a carol it does not have to be 100, 200, 300 years old. But a carol simply means a jubilant song sung joyfully while dancing. And over time, because who Jesus is and the reason why he came is the greatest reason to celebrate. Amen? It just kind of became connected to the word Christmas, Christmas carols. So today, we're going to sing songs that some of you have heard your entire lifetime. We'll sing songs that have become tradition here at Oak Park. We'll sing a couple of songs that we've never sang before. But they're all carols. And they're all songs to help us rejoice and to magnify the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And no, yes, we have singers on the stage and musicians, but this is not about you being entertained. It's really we dim the lights to give each of us an opportunity just to entertain the presence of God. Because he did not just come 2,000 years ago, but he is Emmanuel, God with us now. And whatever you came in caring, whatever you came in needing, Jesus Christ can minister and meet that need in this service. Has anybody proven he's a very present help in a time of trouble? Amen, amen, amen. Amen. So will you stand one more time? We sang this song last year. Chris is going to come sing. It talks about the name of Jesus. Come on, just lift your hands and worship one more time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify you, Lord. We magnify you, Jesus. Son of 
you lift your hands and thank them this morning. Hallelujah. I thank you that you're wonderful. I thank you that you're counsel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, you may be seated. It came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. She brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there were with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. No crib for a bed The little Lord Jesus Lay down his sweet head The stars in the sky Looked down where he lay The little Lord Jesus Asleep on the hay
Let's just worship him right now. Because of who he is and why he came. The windows of heaven are finally open. Come on, he's with us here right now. Hallelujah. Oh, behold. 
behold the mystery now unfolds see the star shine on the virgin foretold angels sing and light up the sky hope rings out in a newborn's cry swing wide you ancient gates for christ is born today prepare him room prepare him room let the king of glory enter in god with us the promise has come to be Prophets were longing to see in the darkness a blazing light to the hungry the words of life. His kingdom now is near for those with ears to hear. Prepare him, prepare.
John chapter 1, John said he was in the world and the world was made by him, but the world did not recognize him. He came into those that he claimed to be his own, but they did not claim him. But to as many as did receive him, to them he gave them power to become the sons of God. This week I haven't been able to get away from that. To those who receive him, to them he gave them power to become. It's all because of who Jesus is and why he came. For as much as we love the traditional celebrations, the reality is he didn't come for any of this, but he came for all of us. He came to give us power so that we could become the sons of God. He came to empower us so we could be forgiven so we could be delivered, so that we could be set free, so that we could be restored, so that we could be in right relationship with God, so so that we could become joint heirs with Christ. For many that receive Him, to them He gives the power to become. He came, and it is true, John 3, 16, for God so loves the world. There is not anyone anywhere that God does not love. There's not anyone anywhere that the good news of Christmas is not for. It, it, the reality is if he loves us, he loves everybody. And if he, he can, for, can forgive all of us, God knows he can forgive anybody. And if he can put up with us and our inconsistencies and our shortcomings, then there's nobody for whom his mercy is not and his grace is not more than sufficient. Amen. But it takes us receiving him to receive the power. Amen. He is all, his entirely sovereign God come in the flesh to give us power to become. If you're with somebody that you're comfortable sitting by, that you will reach out, make a point of contact. If not, just raise both hands to heaven. That would be their signal that not, not to contact you. Father, right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father, for your love that knows no limit, no end. But we we would be beyond delusional to think that everyone that's walked through these doors today, their hearts are full of joy and gladness. There's individuals here facing real issues, haunted by the real ghost of Christmas past. People that are going through seasons of sorrow and loss and Father there are hearts in this room right now that the enemy has seized with fear but I take you at your word that you have not given us the spirit of fear but you gave us the spirit of power and love and so Father right now in the name of the Lord Jesus whatever has been brought into this room whatever need represented with the hands lifted right now I pray your peace And I pray, Father, they will open their hearts to you to receive what you have for them. For you came to empower us to become. It is not your will that any should perish. It is is not your will for us to try to do life on our own. You did not create us to do this thing on our own. But you created us to be in sync with you and for you to empower us to become and be blessed in the dimension that you desire for us to be. So, Father, right now I speak peace. And I speak forgiveness. And I speak hope. And I speak a confidence in the name of the Lord Jesus that this Christmas would really be tidings of comfort and joy. That someone who's hurting today, someone who's lonely today, someone who came needing today would open their heart to you right now in the name of Jesus to receive the power that you came to bring to them. I praise you. Come on, just we'll lift those hands in worship right now. Come on, lift your hands in worship. Come on, just thank Him for loving you. Come on, just thank Him for loving you. Hallelujah. 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 The 
blessings of all songs. Let's worship this amazing. To certain poor shepherds in fields where they lay, in fields where they lay, keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. No.
right now. Amen, amen, amen. Father, we give you praise because of the gift you gave us at Christmas. The access to everything you are. The right to be born again of water and of spirit. To be baptized in your name and filled with your, with your Holy Ghost is the greatest gift any of us could ever have. Because it enables us to become the children of God 
and heirs of all the promises of God, not only in this life, but also in the life to come. So, Father, right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for every individual in this room. I pray that they would find you, that they would find your peace and your presence this Christmas. And that, Father, if anyone here does not have the gift of your spirit, that they would be filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in your name, that they would enter 2022 knowing that they are born again of water and spirit. And we magnify you right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, stand to your feet right now. Let's magnify him. Come on, that's it. Stand to your feet right now. Let's magnify Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, Oak Park. We magnify you, Father. We magnify you, Father. We magnify you. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Help us see you. His name, Jesus. showed up and told shepherds good news they said hey guess what it's not just for you so it's for everybody somebody say it's for everybody it's, it's not enough for us to be excited about who he is and why he came but we need to share it we need to tell it has the grace of God made anybody made a difference in anybody's life here today come on give him praise right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah just remain standing we're gonna celebrate for a little bit okay the power of sin and darkness whose love is mighty and so much stronger the king of glory the king above all kings who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder and leaves us breathless in awe and wonder the king of glory the king above all kings Son and daughter, the King of glory, the King of glory, who rules the nations with truth and justice, shines like the sun in all of its brilliance, the King of glory, the King above all kings.
Aren't you glad you know that Jesus came? Amen. 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 We're so honored and thrilled that all of you are here today. And uh, I got my sidekick with me this morning. I look better with her beside me, don't I? Amen. Amen. You can look at the crowd and wave at them. It's a shy moment. Oh. So glad to have all of you here today. We have guests with us. Give all of our guests a hand right now. So glad. Becky and Josh are here today with my grandkids. I'm so glad they brought my grandbabies. And so glad to see all of you here. And I do pray that this week, regardless of what traditions you do or do not keep, regardless of how elaborate or not of your celebration, I know that the presence of God is with you. And I pray that you feel the peace of God, fill your heart and your mind. That every service as we've concluded this past year, I pronounce the blessing over you. And today in, this, in prayer this morning, I pray the blessing over everyone that walked in this room. That the Lord would bless you and keep you. That his face would shine upon you and give you peace. And that's the will of God. That you would walk out of 2021 knowing him as your Savior. Knowing him as your very present help in a time of trouble. And he's with you. Everybody say amen. We have one more tradition that we do. Hey, before. Pastor, I have one more song that we need to sing. It's been, oh, it's been no, burning no, in no. our hearts, and we need to sing it right now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. a great day yeah the, the season is so so wonderful particularly when we remember why we're what the season is all about yeah. Yeah. but there is some other stuff that the season is all about that we are associated with as well is that our pastor has a birthday this month oh. <laughs> eliza said pop pop you're old aren't you <laughs> well it beats the alternative yeah <laughs> Take it, take it from me. <laughs> yeah. So with that being said, without a bunch of words that I would like to say that I can't put together like I want to, I want to wish the pastor a great birthday. And with that, we're going to give him this little gift that says, happy birthday, 60th birthday, pastor. And additionally to that, it is it is Christmas time, Sister Scott. Merry Christmas to you. Yes. God bless you. Yeah. Amen. The best first lady ever. Amen. Thank thank you so much. Thank you, Paul Paul. I uh, we're very honored. I thought I was going to get out of here. I was racing for beautiful star. I was trying to get there, and. Uh, so, but thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Uh, the other day, I was telling Pop Pop why she, I was telling Eliza why Pop Pop was her grandfather. She was my granddaughter. She's at the wine stage. And so I told her about the little girl we had named Rebecca. And then five years later, we had another little girl named Anna Marie. And she looked at me and she said, Pop Pop, you're really old, aren't you? And I thought, yeah, thank you. <laughs> but thank you so much. Uh, your love and appreciation and support throughout the years means so much to us, and uh, Tammy and I and our family are so tremendously blessed to be able to serve as your pastor, and we do not take it for granted, even after 23 years, we're very blessed, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts, we love you, and Merry Christmas, how do you get out of this, you want to preach? Well, I didn't see y'all come in, well, you can't hold him up, Josh, so just introduce who Elizabeth is wrapped with. Yes. Will you welcome our, one of our newest members? And then where, where's the bambino? she asleep? We're so glad. Uh, Carolyn and uh, Daryl are as old as I am. 
but they have become grandparents and they have their grandbaby with them today as well. And uh, hey, Merry Christmas. So good to see you. Yeah, and our, our, our chi- all the children, after this sing this song, all of our children up to age 12, are, I have a small gift for you, Tammy, and I'll hand it out to the front of the church. Amen. I got out of my routine. I've got to get back in gear. We have one thing we do, tradition every year, the last song before Christmas that we sing. And before we sing that, let me just go over our announcements. This coming Wednesday night, we're going to be meeting at 7 o'clock to go caroling. We will not be meeting here at the church. We'll be meeting across the street at the Palms. Uh, you'll park in the parking lot. We will not be going in. We'll stand under the portico. We'll start singing at 715 under the portico. Uh, the residents will be announced, and they'll be able to come and hear us. Uh, but they're not allowing groups to come in yet. Then we will leave. Um, we will leave uh, the Palms, and we'll walk out this way to the next neighborhood. We're going to pass Sister Gloria Pruitt's in the McDonald's house, and we're going to sing to the top of our lungs to that neighborhood for a little bit, and then we'll come back to our cars and drive across the street, and we'll have cocoa and cookies and uh, fellowship. That's Wednesday night. Hey, let's get the good news out of the building. Amen? Amen. Amen. Next Sunday morning, there will be no services here in the building. We're on online only. That's next Sunday morning. In fact, our next service inside the building will be Friday, December 31st at 11 o'clock. We're, we're going to pray out this year and pray in the next year because I have a feeling in the Holy Ghost next year is going to be blessed. Amen. Hasn't God been good to us in spite yeah. of everything else? Yeah. And so doors open at 10 o'clock on New Year's Eve. 11 o'clock we begin prayer and, and worship and communion. Uh, we will take communion at midnight and plead the blood over a new year. Amen, amen. So again, the last thing we do, I need somebody to help me sing this now. Y'all know it. Y'all should know it by now, no matter what your age is. Come on, Brother Dale. Play it like we used to sing it. Beautiful star. Oh, y'all give Dale a hand right now. Here we go. Oh, beautiful star. Aren't you glad you know who Jesus is? Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today online as well. We welcome you and everyone in-house. We love you. Thank you for being here, and God bless you in Jesus' name. I'm going to meet all the kids up to age 10 and up to age 12. Meet me right down front.
in honor of our pastor's birthday, his 60th birthday this week, we have a happy birthday reception that everybody is invited to right now. And so as you exit, there'll be some slides, some pictures, blasts from the past, pictures. I know you enjoy those, but meet us in the reception, and we'll have a great time celebrating Pastor uh, today. Thank you all.